This is Breeze TV Live number four, meaning the last night in America for OWTU uh, correspondents and moderators that are on their way to Columbia as we speak. There's one there on the ground right now. There are the other 12 remaining here in the States. On, yeah, uh, Moreno, we have uh, Mr. B. Bourne from Alabama, somewhere down south. Also, we have in the flesh himself, the Sewer Dominican Republic. Say shout outs to send shout outs to everybody in my uh well into this chat room as well as the other chat room. Uh GRGR49, Big Star, Stephan O, Big Ant 3, Love Entertainment, Diesel Max, BK Boss Troy C, Tampa Twine, Miss 443, Rio Rio 01, Brave Hearts of Crypto, uh Big J's Escape to Sasua, Wine E, A Fella, 22 G D. Uh, Jackson G, the worldwide, what's happening? Big time in Ray Z. These people here on the panel are those that are going with me to Columbia, and some of you are heading there after. Uh, who's been there before? For the front, for the people on the panel, who's been there before? Brian, I've been there to Columbia. Richie Rich, I've been there. Well, well, to the people that have been there before, what can you tell the people that haven't been there before that might have been to a place like Sasua? What can you tell them the differences in things that they're going to see? Uh, well, you're going to see, uh, I mean, <laughs> you're not going to see a <laughs> <laughs> whole lot of begging. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not yeah. going to see that. But, you know, some people, you might see a little bit of it, but not a whole lot, man. A lot of women, man. A lot of clubs, a lot of bars, a lot of options. Hell of options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, it's like you can go from one part of the city all the way to the next. And, I mean, it's a party every fucking where. Club, yeah. bars. Shit, it's girls everywhere, man. You right. know, can you pick it back off that burn? Yeah, man, I can pick it back off that man. He's right. Um, it's a lot to do every day of the week. Uh, a lot of bars, a lot of nice people. Um, you're not gonna hear too much English, but um, get your Spanish up. You know, no, just just your basic Spanish, basic conversational Spanish um, will work. Um, but you probably know, not going to hear anything in English at all. Um, maybe in some of the, um, a bar that might, you know, a, a, some English people might frequent, you might hear like some music, but, um, even, even with some of the music, they're kind of behind the time. I mean, I walked right. in, I walked in one place and they was playing MC Hammer and everybody was jamming in there. I was like, man, <laughs> what's going on in here? Did I step into well, a time machine? <laughs> right. Well, that's it. When was the first time you visited Columbia? Uh, exactly one year ago. Well, I, well, it was in it was in January, so I would say 10, 11 months ago. Mm -hmm. It was my very first time in Columbia. And I've been three times since then. My, my very first time. I was supposed <laughs> to stay a week, end up staying two weeks. Um, my second time, I was supposed to stay a week, end up staying three weeks. And my last time, which was in July of this year, I was supposed to stay for two weeks and ended up staying over a month, about about, about five weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> next time I go, I might just stay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Man, shit. Well, what do y'all think about uh, with everything that's going on in Sasua, y'all think we're going to end up in it, having any problems over there in Columbia? Just based off of what my buddies say that live there, I know guys that live, I don't know, I don't know anybody that lives in Sasua, but I know guys that are in, that are there, they're Dominican and they live in Dominican Republic, they've been there their whole lives and they were saying, um, they don't think it, it it'll it'll kind of um, taper off here, you know. After after a while, 
from what they from what they understand. And it's not like you, it's not like it's gonna be super dangerous where you're gonna go down there and you're gonna end up getting in you know getting in some trouble. But as long as people go over there and just you know do their thing and everybody's cool, we shouldn't shouldn't have any issues. But you always be careful. You know, be be careful anywhere you go. You know, anywhere you go, you still have to be cautious. Oh yeah, most definitely. <clears throat> Shit. Well, which you? Well, how many people here have been to Sasua but not met yet? Yeah, right here. So you've been to Sasua. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you had a nice time in Sasua. I loved every time I went. All right. Sasu is a beautiful place, beautiful people, a lot of things to do, clubs, restaurants, and uh, the energy that uh, the positive energy down there is infectious, man. And a lot of Mm -hmm. times you get to meet a lot of positive brothers as well. Right, right. Dante, okay, excuse me. I mean, I'm going to be, make sure I. uh, Make sure I interview you after this, you know, make sh- to see what you think is better, whether it be Medellin or Sasua. Yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're leaning towards Sasua right now, but, you know, say eight days from now, might be a little bit different. Yeah, it's going to be hard, though, man, because I'm a, I'm a beach dude, so I love the beach. Right, 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 right. So I, I heard, you know, the water, you know, so it's like a landlocked town. But, you know, I'm open-minded, so. I'm, I'm just going down there to have a good time and see what it's like. Indeed. Well, you know, I just wanted to touch with you, touch base with y'all, at least speak with y'all at least one more time on American Soul. I wish it could have been on a, a grander scale, but the first thing that happened is my computer goes down and I can't really, you know, get at things the way I want to, speak on things I really want to. So, I just want to go ahead on and get through this real quick and end things off with speaking on the uh, Medellin uh, itinerary from tomorrow all the way till Friday, you know, and that's pretty much uh, me, Richie, Nick, you know, Neil will be there. And the whole deal is with the four of us is we're going to determine the place for the meetup at the meetup. That's when we will do all the things like talk about, uh, Group etiquette, if you saw some of the, if you saw the latest post that I put out on YouTube earlier this evening, you'll see that I was speaking on something that for the uh, group meetup, talking about group etiquette moving forward, how we should move uh, resource pooling, as well as full group travel, as well as uh, things that's going to bring us back to Medellin, one of these things being investments, you know, and and while I'm also thinking about it, while I'm there, I, I didn't want to speak on it right now, but I'd rather wait till I get to Medellin to talk about it, was the WTU t-shirts. Well, I had spoke to somebody and I had got a uh, a deal for a package on 24 shirts and I'll break down that deal. And while I was thinking about breaking down the deal in Medellin, instead of just breaking the deal down, I'm thinking about why don't we just go get the shirts in Medellin? What y'all think about that? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, man. You know, I'm pretty sure it may even be a whole lot cheaper. Can you get yeah. it turned around fast enough? Huh? Can you get it turned around fast enough? That's going to be the thing. Oh, no. I, well, I'm thinking about it. They, you know, they, they, they making 3D guns now. So, you know, sure shouldn't be no problem. You know. <laughs> and, uh, if anybody is, well, if you don't mind, could you please send a link to Derek? Because he is, I, I told did. him to reach out to you like five minutes ago and he's still asking me questions. But it is what it is. I got a question for the group, though. Has, yeah, has, I was just about to say that. Oh, has anybody been to both uh, DR and Medellin? Yes. So yeah, what's, yeah, what's, your, what's your thoughts on both? Like, give me a scale of one to ten. Uh, your thoughts on DR and your thoughts on Medellin, and uh, what what makes the difference between the two? You can go ahead, Brian. 
Oh, no. Oh, um, well, well, that's just me then. All right, well. Are they here? No, I've been, I've been, I've been there, but you, I'll let you talk. You go, you go ahead. Well, to me, Medellin is like Manhattan. And, and the school compared to uh, Medellin is like comparing uh, Manhattan, New York to like uh, Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, it's two, exactly. it's, two different, it's two different experiences for me. I'm not going to say one is is bad and one is that, that good. It's just that, 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 that different, you know, but but I guess that comes from being around a whole bunch of people who go out to both places, you know, for uh, P for P, you know. But when you step away from that, when you step away from that whole aura of P for P and migrant, uh, Medellin holds the upper hand hands down. Okay, okay. You know, if, I had to, if I had to go in and, and visit for the women, I'm going to Medellin. If I had to visit for the business, I'm going to Medellin. If I had to visit for the food, I'm going to the meat market, so I'm, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to Medellin. So everything to me is leaning toward Medellin. You know, Medellin is spaced out as compared to Sisua is just one little strip. Yeah, it's a concentrated strip where you're going to find what you want, what you want quickly, but after a while, it loses the novelty. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel the same way. Um, there's a lot more to. I feel like there's a lot more to do. Now, I'm I'm a little different because I've only been to Sasua one time, and it was back in 2012, and I was only there for maybe three days. Four, I think I, I I left on my fourth day, so I can't really even say four days. I was only there three days, and um, so I didn't really get the full effect. But um, I've been to um, Columbia uh, a lot, and I've been all over Columbia. So I've been to the beach, beach part of Columbia as well. It's called Batankia. Batankia would, would remind you of somewhere like Miami, but way, way cheaper. Probably the nicest hotel in Batankia is going to be the um, the um, I've got the name of it right now, but it comes to me in, in a minute. But you right there on the beach. You in a high rise hotel overlooking the beach, and you, I think the highest price room maybe eighty dollars, ninety dollars a night. You know, whereas in New in, in Miami, on the beach, <laughs> you're looking at three, four hundred dollars a night. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but you, but it's, but it's, you have a much better time. I did, and I've been to, I've been all over the United States, and uh, like I said, uh, Columbia and and. DR, like I said, it's like comparing something small to something big, you know. I mean, I've been to Bogota. Bogota has 10 million people. Uh, Medellin has about 2 million people. I'm not really sure how many people Sasua have, but even with even with it packed with a lot of tourists, I don't think they have even a fraction of that. So um, that's just my experience. But I really like uh, Medellin. They have a lot of bars, a lot of different areas to go to. A lot of variety, you know. Okay, cool, man. What about the same question for uh, Brazil? Anybody been to Brazil versus uh, Medellin? I can't speak on Brazil. I've never been there. So I'll let one other guys talk. <laughs> All right. Arnell, I think he's the only one in here that's been to Brazil. Can you guys hear, man? Yeah. yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Hey, hey, guys. Yeah, uh, try, try to uh, mute yourself because it's a lot of background noise. I muted a few of y'all, but try to mute yourself when you're not talking. Go ahead, Ona. Yeah. How y'all doing? Um, I've been to Brazil. But I can't make the comparison as of yet. Tomorrow will be my first time actually going to Medellin. But as um, far as Brazil goes, it was a great place for me. I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, just like if you were going to Medellin, like anywhere else that's a foreign place, I'd advise you, you know, pick up on the local language a little bit. That definitely will come in handy. It helped me. Um, the people are nice. The ladies are extra nice. 
And everything, once you get to Rio, everything is pretty much in the general area, like Lapa, you have um, Empanema, Copacabana, all that's pretty much about 10 or 15 minutes away from each other, give or take. So as far yeah, as I'm getting glad around, you brought that up. That nature, it's, um, it's pretty convenient. So. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, man. Brazil is huge, man. Everything is a 20-minute decision. Right. So, I mean, just, just for me, it was just right there. Dries, you still there? Dries. Oh, Dries. Thank you, Dries, man. I guess he might be muted, but, uh, you know, I don't want to take up all the time asking questions. But uh, what about Asia? Anybody been over to Asia? Uh, not yet, man. We got we got one guy going to uh, Philippines uh, this week, and he's going to uh, damn it, uh, Philippines and I uh, forgot the other town. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah so one I, thing I, I, I one thing I wanted to add too was, and Dre spoke about it earlier. In, in the actual group, but make sure you got your finances right as far as your debit card. Make sure you talk to your bank. Make sure you got to, you know, whoever, um, you know, talk to someone who's been there before or might know a, a, the, good, the best place to exchange your money, you know, things of that nature. Uh, years ago when I, when I went to DR, it was my very first time going to DR. And I've been to Europe a lot, but I hadn't been to, D, to, to, to um, South America. And Europe is a little more friendly when it comes to um, that. But I was in DR, and I, was, I got there like on a Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. By the time Saturday came, I used my card so much that my, I didn't tell my bank that I was going. And they cut, my, they cut my card off in the middle of the night on a Saturday night, and I needed money. And they cut my, damn, my daggone card off, and I had to call my mama. <laughs> And tell her to um, wire me some money and tell money, man. So just um, just something to think about. Yeah. And, uh, as far as yeah. Brazil goes with the exchange rate, um, there's one place that I know of that I went to when I was there, and it's on uh, uh, Senora Copacabana. That is by far, if you're going to go exchange your money, that is the best place, the best rate that they'll give you, in, in my opinion. When I went there, it was like um, four sixteen to the dollar. They were giving me four oh five to every U.S. dollar, so they were charging me like what's that, uh, twelve cents, something like that for a dollar. They exchanged my money, so every time I gave them a hundred dollars, they gave me back four hundred and some change. And I, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I came back with money. That's how good it was. So, and to piggyback on for that, to all the brothers that's gonna be staying on credit out of forty two. That is not too far from Park Yardis. And not too far from Park Yardis on Cali 10 is a uh, exchange park, exchange place. Now, to the people that's coming in, uh, I suggest if you'd like or if you need, I do have Margarita on uh, deck. She can come pick you up from the airport. You know, she hit you with a nice little flat rate, about $20, $25. You know, so if there's anybody here that needs that information, I'll get that to you or just have her contact you or just leave her your uh, her uh, information with you. But going into the chat room, Jackson Jeter asks, uh, do you need a car to get around Columbia? Well, to be quite honest, you're going to have so much fun just walking outside. You might not need a car. You. Like when I was there last year, you stay in. I stayed in primarily one particular spot and barely went out. Like when I got on a train and went here and then went there, it was no problem. But I had enough fun, enough people, enough festivities going on right in the area where I was last year. So I'm thinking I moved away from these festivities, and here it is. I done moved into another area of fucking festivities. I'm sorry, but I, I know I need to keep it PG, but. No, you probably don't need a car. If you if you busy going everywhere, you might need somebody to give you a ride every now and again. But a lot of the places, even though they seem far apart, you know, Uber seems like a good option. 
But as far as the chat room is concerned, shout out to G Jackson G the Worldwide. Shout out to Kevin Jimenez. Shout out to LJ2014. Um, going back into speaking about the meetup in Columbia. Uh, also at that place, did I say we were going to take votes on certain things? Did I cover that already? No, uh -huh. you, you haven't covered it, but uh, um, you, I think you asked about it before. Yeah, taking votes and um, yeah, I'm yeah, we're gonna take a uh, couple of votes on some things and shout out to James Jones. I see you right there. You just came to the chat room, but um, we're gonna take votes on one first thing first of how we gonna do these t-shirts and if we could, if we find a place that's of a uh, decent pricing. Another thing we're going to take votes on is where we are going to go in 2019 as a full group. Do we come back to Medellin or, or what have you? But it was something else I wanted to uh, talk about, too. And by the time I get to uh, Medellin to be with y'all on that Friday, I'll be done figured out. But I don't forgot what the shit was. But everybody knows the itinerary about from uh, from all the pub crawls. The only thing is about the pub crawl, I may switch from Tatiana, which was a switch from Jessica, and I might just go ahead on and just use Margarita for everything. But it all depends, and I'll just let everybody speak on that when we get to Columbia. So it's a crazy show, but nevertheless, uh, if anybody have any questions, anything that they would like to add, anything they would like to ask, anything that they would like to suggest. Hey, uh, I would like to say, I think it's probably best if we meet up at uh, in the Poblado area for the meetup, man, because, I mean, most of these guys ain't never been there, so. For them to get to a certain place, it's gonna be a little hard. But everybody should be able to make it to the uh, to the park area. You know the park. I think I think we can meet up, and then it's got bigger bigger restaurants and bars that we can uh, sit and talk. Well, y'all can research the area as long as y'all find a spot with a pool table. I'm good. Everybody got a spot. Everybody got a spot to drink. I just like shooting pool while I'm drinking. So. As long as you find a spot with a good pool table, we good. I'll do some research myself. But, the, I mean, we might as well wait and, hell, you know, instead of voting on that right now, we might as well just visually just, you know, put our feet on the ground and, and get out there and see what's out there. You know, find out where we want to be and then bring it back and disperse that information into the chat rooms. Yeah, let's talk about these pants, man. <laughs> I've been hearing mm -hmm. that it's, it's not a, uh, you know, like uh, the shorts and everything is kind of discouraged. So, like, what's the weather like? Is it heated walking around? Is it cool temperature? You know. It ain't getting dark. I was told not to wear shorts out of my domicile. It's um, frowned upon in that area, so... Um... Whether it's hot or whether it's cold, I just gotta wear shorts. I mean, wear pants. So I ain't right with the shorts. That's what I heard. I would I wouldn't say it's frowned upon, but it's just certain places you go. Um, like like cert, like like on a Saturday night. You know what I mean? Like on a Friday night, Saturday night, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be going to different different spots. You know, you're gonna be hanging out, going to different spots. Some spots it might be cool, but some spots you go to. It, you, you know, you, you want to be prepared. So just it's kind of a best practice because, yes, it is some spot you go into and and people are going to be like <laughs> looking at you like, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's it's more so of a best practice. Uh, now, if it's just a, a if it's just during the during during the daytime and um oh, shoot, if it's just during the daytime and, you know, you just walking around the park or around the park or. Going to the store, yeah. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't really see it. It's not a, I wouldn't say it was so bad. It's a, they were, they were frowned upon it. But mainly, like I said, you're going out, hanging out, going to the um, 
clubs and bars. You know, you might go on, like I said, you might go on one bar, and it's cool. Everybody might be wearing short, but you, but you know, y'all be moving around. You might want to go to a nice little club, a nice little upscale club, and you want to really go in there, but everybody in there is, I wouldn't say dressed up like Armani suits, but everybody got, you know, slacks on or pants and, you know, dressed decent, you know, as far as the, the you know, venue. And you got to go and go back to the spot and change just to go into that spot. So it's more, like a, it's more so, so of a best practice. That's just my opinion. Put it this way. In my opinion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out there and see how they dress. And then if they ain't wearing shorts out there where I'm going at, then I won't wear shorts. That that does it for me. You know. Now, what I do have in the arsenal is sweatpants. And I'm wearing my sweatpants every motherfucking way. Ain't, ain't no if fans about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's not like you it's not like in New York where you will be banned from somewhere if you don't wear a certain thing. It's just, you know, just like it's kinda like what Dre said. You know, you want to kind of fit in and, and kind of, you know, go with the flow. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's not like New York where they're gonna check you at the door. And say, hey man, you wearing this, you wearing that, you can't come in here. No, it ain't it's nothing like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much like this, man. You know you about to go to the bar that night. Don't wear no damn short. You know, if you know you're kicking in the daytime, wear your shorts if that's what you want to wear. The temperature is not going to be over 80 degrees, man. It's not going to be less than 65. So, Look, the same the same sweater you're going to wear on the airplane, that's the only sweater you're going to need in Medellin, unless it rain a lot. But other than that, it's staying between 60 and 80 every day. Like how I, like how I feel here, like how I feel here like two weeks ago, that's how I feel that like every day if it don't rain. You know what I'm saying? It's like football. For anybody that play football weather, at the coldest it get, it, it, it's football weather. You know, like that 68, 69-ish, you know, where it's not too hot, not too cold, you know. And you'll, you you gonna enjoy the weather for sure, you know. Yeah. Secondly, you gonna enjoy your surroundings, and then when you start moving around, whoa, you gonna really enjoy yourself. And and that's before you even spend money, you know. That's before you even get to the malls, before you even get to the parks, before you even get to the chicas, you know. But I'm hoping that. I'm just realizing, I'm thinking that Community 13 was just a name. But come to find out, they got a whole bunch of communities. So I don't know who's going to be down with me, but I'm going to try to go hit all of them motherfuckers if I can. And I just got to find out where he at. So that's just going to be something that's going to be going into my personal itinerary. So I put an itinerary together for everybody to enjoy themselves. And then I guess everybody got to do their own thing on their own downtime. But just as far as that goes, as far as being safe, um, if anything, if you do dip off, you know, at least let one, two, three people know where you're at. You know what I mean? And another thing, uh, for the electric, I remember when uh, Sam and LJ and was out there in Sasua, they had the electrical problem. So, Another thing that we might have to do for us, the WTU members that are heading to Columbia, is everybody get a phone number to uh, either myself or Richard or Nick. So that way everybody got a, a number on you just in case you've gone too long or, or we don't see you at all. So we could call you and put, you know, you know, somebody got a, a, a eye on you or an ear to you, know where you're at or done heard from you recently so we don't have to be worrying about you. You know, yeah, so I think that's an excellent idea, man. I, we had the same thing in uh DR, man. We call it no walking off. <laughs> Basically, right. tell somebody where you at, man, for some, somebody don't be looking for you for three hours, you know, right? Hey, uh, another thing, guys, uh, I want y'all to talk about it. Um, uh, what kind of budget you guys are uh, planning on spending down there? 
for the guys that's going. I mean, well, you can do it too, Brian. Well, myself, uh, anywhere I go, be it international or domestic, I start at $50 a day. So I'm going to be in Medellin eight days. So that's like saying, make sure you have four fifty to five hundred dollars, you know. So that that's that's pretty much how I do my budget. And plus, if we can sit there and, and look at eight live being the same place doing the same thing on sixteen dollars, then I shouldn't have a problem with him. You know, all the way I do is if I end up running into some um some chicks and, and run into the police and had to pay two bribes again, which I do know is going to happen. Yeah, I'm about the same, man. I usually budget for about a um, hundred a day. And um, like, if you want to have some different type of fun, it might be a little bit more, you know? Right. Yeah, I think I'm falling into that different type of fun category. So, um, <laughs> my uh, <laughs> My budget, because I'm going to be there eight days. Mm. My budget, I'm going to try and keep between 700 and maybe $1,000. That, that's it. You know, I'm not trying to go no more than that. You know, that's, that, that's pretty much it. Between seven and 1000 you know? Because in my case, I don't drink. I don't smoke. So I'm pretty much just going to be spending money on food and entertainment. So that's, that's the area I'm falling in there. And if I come back with some money, that's great. If I don't, that's good too, but I'm just going out there to have a good time, learn about the area, and I'm planning on going back soon. Yeah, and that's the thing. I I, I like to drink pretty much like on vacation, like every day. So I'm I'm budgeting for that as well. I'm I'm including that in the one, and I know that adds up over time. You know, that's a big expense. Yeah, me um me personally, not including. I'm 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 taking I'm taking out as far as my my um living expenses. But as far as um as far as going out on a daily basis, my daily budget, I put it to you like this. Um seven days in, in Bogota, which is the most expensive city in the in the country. Seven days I spent six hundred dollars and I had all the fun I want to have. And I spent about six hundred dollars. So I would, yeah, I would say a hundred dollars a day. And like I said, I don't smoke, but I do drink. And I was buying, I was, I was popping bottles, buying drinks <laughs> for the homies, and you know what I mean. Uh, hey, I was, I was, I was like, um, I was like Nino Brown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Once yeah. it started flowing, once the party started flowing, you know, yeah. folks my homies was walking generous. in, and I told them, I said, man, like, hey, look, whatever y'all want, I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. It's on me. I just had to say, it's on me, baby. <laughs> Yeah, and I also sure. want to preface that by saying, like, even though I, I do a budget of, like, uh, 100 a day or something like that, I break it up. Like, so I, I won't go and get all of the money, like, exchange all of the money. You know, I just do, like, you know, maybe uh, three, 400 at a time, something like that, and then see how I'm spending and then go back for more. There you go. All right. I, know, I know a local guy. Um not in Medellin, but in Bogota, but maybe you can find somebody that local too as well. He told me the best ATM to go to. He told me, he said, man, you go to this ATM machine here, they got the, they got the least amount of fees. I was in Medellin, um, and I, I just had, you know, my, my money, I took my money with me, but, um, but yeah, yeah. Once you find someone there, or maybe some of the guys on the panel might know. Um, um, I, I know one of my homies, he went to Medellin, and he told me that he just, um, he just um, Western Union himself the money, and it was less fees. But that may have been just for the area that he was in. He probably couldn't find a way in that, in that certain area. So, yeah. Then on top of that, you might luck up, and um, the exchange rate change for um, the benefit, like it goes up. Yeah. So you might right. be able to get a little bit more. Yeah, I was looking at the chart on there, and uh, it kind of fluctuates. So yeah, you might get lucky. Just look at that chart. Go online, look at the chart, see how much it is, and uh, you can, you know, um, compare and take it from there. Well, fellas, um, while we're talking about Medellin, have y'all did y'all have y'all thought of or researched any other uh, 
attractions in the city. You know, I uh, was talking yes. with Brother Derek, and Derek was talking about uh, doing a Pablo tour. Yes, I was just about to bring that up. Um, has anybody been on the Narco tour? I'm very interested in that. In a what tour? Narco. Okay. Yeah. And basically we, what they we, do is they, you know, from what I've heard, is they take you around to all of the spots and stuff. His his former house, his grave, and oh yeah, you know, other places. They take you. They take you to a church where uh they were dipping the wallets and the, dipping the bullets in holy water. I like what kind of shit is this? Oh lord. <laughs> yeah. So has it? Has anybody been on that tour or have heard any? Uh, Anything about it? Uh, I, think, I think brother the other day. I will say this. We do have an open slot for Sunday. I just left that open as a deal of suggestion. I guess we come together Saturday night if we ain't too low or too drunk or whatever and we discuss set, uh, that Sunday. But that's when we supposed to do everything with the house. Are we still going to be, that's the, that's what I meant to say. Taking vote, on, taking a vote on. Will we be still doing that? Uh, I'm down. All right, because uh, uh, I got something that came up, and you know, like I said, it's gonna be a couple of things that I want to do that I might not be able to do if I go and uh, take care of the, this thing in uh, when I get to Medellin. And I'm trying to see about handle, doing that tomorrow so it doesn't interfere with any, with any, the rest of my time. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you guys like like sightseeing or uh, mountains and stuff like that, or, uh, like lakes. But there's one that's called um, RV, RV Park. A-R-V-I, RV Park. It's pretty nice. Y'all going to do some research on that. You're right. I'm going to take them there. Mm-hmm. See, I was I was there last year, and I could have went to Park Harvey last year, but you know somebody cut out on me. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's super nice. You'll love it. You get a lot of nice pictures. If any of you guys are taking your drones with you, you can you can fly your drone, man. Get some real good shots. It's real nice. Right. Well, fellas, I thought that this would be even a more festive event. Being it, it's going to be the last night in America for the majority of us on the panel. But to all the brothers on the panel, I'd like to say thank you for coming tonight. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Uh, Richie Rich, for allowing me to use your channel for Dreams TV Live number four. Do anybody have any parting shots that they would like to give before we conclude? So I just like to say, man, y'all have a good time, man. Y'all have a good time. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, but I gotta work. But um man, I'll be I will be online, I will be on the in the group, I'll be on I'll be checking my Facebook live, I mean my um my, my YouTube live and waiting on you guys to send me some info, man. Send me some pictures. I wanna see all the content, all the stuff you can't put on YouTube. I wanna I wanna see it in the group. Y'all go have a good time, yo. Well, I wanna uh, know this. Uh, Big Boss got the Creep Cam Award in Sasua. Who gonna get the Creep Cam Award <laughs> <laughs> in Medellin tomorrow? That's what yeah, I want. Yeah, man. Who gonna win? Who gonna have that crown? The Creep Cam crown. Well, who, I would be honest with you. Big Boss I'm got be... that Creep Cam on lock. You know? I, that dude, that man, he's behind snack machines, behind desks. All he popping out the camera <laughs> everywhere. You know? <laughs> uh, <man. laughs> that, boy, that boy was something serious with that Creep Cam. I don't know who's gonna step up to the plate, dog. Who's who gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? I would say, I would say something. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say something later, but you oh. know, my thing is, my thing is, I ain't got my video camera ready for no creeps. I got a one mile coming to my shit. We ain't doing no creep cam. If I can't tell you to stand up and let me take a picture, then fuck it, there ain't gonna be no picture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight up real with them. I ain't gonna be with them all, you know. what I'm saying a lot of them think they come and stay all night with me. Nah, I ain't doing that. You know, wake hey, up. Bro, and, that's real. 
that kind of put me like, bro, like, I don't know if I really want to have a female up in the room and when I close my eyes and go to sleep and get the storm, bro, you know, she get to get the wandering around and shit, dog, kind of like, kind of just, I ain't feeling too hot. You know, like that, bro. I'm just saying, you know, you know, that girl, that GFE shit, you know, I done had that dream where I done went to sleep with the girl and then I woke up and when it opened up the closet and the closet said, <laughs> with nothing in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, and I, I done had that dream of being robbed. And I, I ain't trying to go there. So my thing is, you know, I'm going to do you and let you go about your business. That's real. When you go to sleep, you got to you gotta go home. You know, ain't no hang around. Right. I'll call you back tomorrow. But when I go to sleep, you got to get up out too. Right, right. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't dealing with that there. Hey, Billy. Is that uh, here? Is that here? No, no, no. We finna get ready to go ahead on and, and shut it down. I'm finna get ready to go get on the plane, man. I'm finna go get on the plane. <clears throat> there, you in? I can. Well, we have a good flight, Jedi. Be safe, man. Hello? <laughs> man, who is this? Hey, this is Derek. What's up, fellas? Oh, up, man. Oh, man. We... Y'all didn't even let the man I talk. I got on kind of late, man. My bad. It's all good. Just don't be late, Medellin, man. That's all I can say. Yeah, Y'all didn't let the man talk, man. What, what's up? What's on your mind? Oh, no, it's all good, man. I just want to say hello to the bros, man. I look forward to seeing you catch in Medellin. Word, word, word. We did. You know what? Richie. Richie. Yo. You bring your laptop to, uh, what's we call it? Most likely. Well, we definitely gonna have to do it again with everybody on the panel live. You know what right. I mean? You know, everybody just be in the same building. We ain't gotta, you know, do the same setup. You know, Marino keep his little stuff up or whatever. Keep his little Marino paper uh page up there just just like this. Everybody still been in the same building yet separate from one another. So whoever can show footage in their area can show footage in their area. Or uh, wherever they at, be it they in the club, uh, somewhere with Wi Fi, or be it in their own apartment. That's what's up. I think everybody gonna be pretty close to each other, huh? From what I saw on that map you had put up. No, that map is not close together, man. Trust me. Oh, it's not. Do you know, it ain't nothing more than a three to four dollar Uber ride. We are a nice bit apart, you know. Oh, all right. You know, but I, I will be. I, I went and got me some new Nikes just just to do me some walking. You know, I'm hoping I can find somebody to let me borrow their skateboard or their bicycle or something because I won't move around. But I ain't trying to move. I'm trying to move at a pace where I see as much as I can for every little thing in Medellin. Because I'm going, because the first thing I'm doing when I get to Medellin is go back and do all the shit that I did last time better right, than I right. did last time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw them Nikes you had posted, bro. Them joints fresh, bro. Like they oh, yeah. good and comfortable. Yeah, that's all you need right there. I just couldn't do the uh the little running shoes that I had because they all light at the top. Man, shit. Man. Them bitches, I, I couldn't go to, I couldn't make it through another country with the uh, Nikes I had. You know, I had already been through, I done already stumped through three countries with them. This might be a little bit off topic, bro, but y'all know where they got some buffet spots out there? And what? I'm, greedy. I'm greedy, dog. I ain't lying. They got some like some nice buffets, but I can just go sit down and just eat everything I want to eat. And, uh, Don't worry about right. it. We gonna, no, we gonna find all that tomorrow. By by the time we go to sleep tomorrow, we gonna know where our meetup gonna be for Friday. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we might have some, might have some uh, speakers in the intervening tomorrow. Not sure yet. But another thing, though, if I, fellas, if I don't do all the lives, I will be in the hospital in Medellin. Hey, bro, it's, keep us posted on that, bro. You know, you're in the hospital, bro. I come holler at you, bro. Make sure y'all ain't and shit, you heard me? I ain't, you know, no <laughs> soldier left behind. You know? <laughs> well, I'll be all right, you know. I'll probably be a little groggy or whatever, but, but for the most part, I'll just let I'll be. I'll for sure let three people know. So, 
Right. Once again, everybody, uh, we'll be in town tomorrow and we'll be researching the area, possibly finding a nice little pool hole where we can get our drink on. That's not too far away from everybody's Airbnbs and hotels, respectively. Uh, to others in the group that are not here, that are not that are list that'll be listening on the replay, listening in the chat room, uh, research the Medellin area, look for other attractions. We do have uh, dead spaces in our uh, itinerary where we could fit things in and go see this, go check that out, look at this, you know, things of that nature. We could just play it by ear. But for the most part, to Brian, to Derek, Moreno, Richie Rich, Vinny, and to Mr. Waters and the rest of the people in the chat room, this is Dries. And we on our way to Medellin. And we'll see you in the sky. Y'all have a good night, players. You too, man. All right. All right. You folks. Jedi. Later, man. Good job, man. Have a good one. Make that chair spin around, Jedi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, spin it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sneak one in. <laughs> Get the lights up. Get the lights up. Get the lights up. <laughs> Read the Tinder book. Read the Tinder book. Mm -hmm. Read the tennis book, well. <laughs> <laughs>